All right, so this is looking at the multiple choice section. Um, we're looking at the VCAR 2017 exam. We're going to try and do questions one to five pretty quickly here. So let's have a look. Question one, looking at multiple choice, what does a catalyst do? Um, first of all, it does not slow down a rate of reaction. It doesn't ensure exothermic, no, a catalyst speeds up a rate of reaction. So what else we got? Moves the chemical equilibrium. Does Catalyst doesn't change chemical equilibrium whatsoever. It provides an alternative pathway for the reaction with a lower activation energy. Correct, Amundo. That is the answer. And that is a really, really, really good explanation of what a catalyst does. If you have a short answer question, that's bang on for what you should be saying for this one. Question two in this exam talks about lithium ion rechargeable batteries. They're used in mobile phones. Uh, which of the following environmental conditions would be expected to have the largest number of recharge cycles? Now, Batteries, what do we need to know about batteries? Batteries work best when they are in room temperature or a cold room temperature really. Basically the main thing about batteries is they don't like to be in extreme temperatures. So negative um, degrees Celsius, probably not gonna be that one. 40 degrees a hot day is probably also not ideal. Um, I'm looking between B and C. Um, colder to room temperature would be B. I'm going to go with that one. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but um, looking at that, definitely wouldn't go with the, the top and bottom there. I'm looking at the middle range of temperatures because, as I said, batteries, room temperature is kind of where they like to sit, especially things that are used in everyday appliances. Um, question three, a hydrolytic reaction. Hydrolytic, I haven't really heard that word much before. Sounds like hydrolysis to me, so let's have a look at what the answers could be. We've got a dipeptide is formed, that's a condensation reaction. Triglyceride is formed, again, another condensation reaction. Water is a reaction product, that's condensation. So all those three seem to me like condensation, which would suggest that glucose being formed from maltose, that's the correct answer there. I know that this is actually the breakdown of a disaccharide, so this is hydrolysis. So that kind of makes sense with what that um, question's all about there. Looking into question four, quickly. Um, which of the following contains a chiral carbon? Chiral carbons attached to four different things. So let's have a look to see here if we've got a carbon with four different things attached to it. Alrighty, this first one, methyl but one ene That means we've got a double bond here between our first and second carbons, which is not being shown. Um, that makes that not chiral, not chiral, because it's got three. That's not gonna have any chiral else there. Um, this 2-chlorobutane, this second chlor carbon here looks pretty good. It's not this carbon. Um, this one's got a methyl group, a chlorine, a hydrogen, and this. This looks pretty good for me, which is really good. Um, this one, this third one here, it's not that carbon. It's not that carbon because they've both got three and two things, the same um, stuff on it. This one's got a double bond to oxygen, so it's not that one. And this guy here looks to be symmetrical, actually, and it's got an ene, so it's got a double bond. So it's not gonna be that one, it's gonna be B. Basically, chiral carbons are four different constituents. That's what you wanna go with. Lastly, in this video, we've got our question five. Which of the following is a biofuel? Ethanol produced from crude oil. Crude oil is not a biofuel. Natural gas is not a biofuel. Hydropower is renewable, but it's not a fuel, so therefore, Ethanol produced from cellulose, that seems to be the trick there for um, question five. I'm gonna have a quick glance through the um, examiner's report on these, and then we'll um, finish this video. All right, quickly, let's look through our examiner's report on this these questions. So question one, um, what does a catalyst do? No brainer, D. That looks like everyone in the state pretty much got that answer as well. You can see 96% of students got the answer to the question one, which is a nice way to start an exam. So everyone in 2017 probably would have gone into this going, yes, at least I got one mark, which is fantastic. Uh, question two asked about the, uh, what was it about? Batteries, that's right. So batteries, um, you can see that the correct answer here was B. Um, however, it was only 40% of people got that right. So it seems like that one was a bit of a challenge. You can see the comments here, around room temperature is likely to provide the largest number of discharge cycles. So again, these guys are talking about the temperature of the room, which is why these batteries are made because they're being made to use working in your appliances. So you wouldn't really wanna try and make a battery that works outside those random temperatures. So that's where I would be going with that one. 
question three, again, only less than 50% got this question right. The answer was D, was where we're talking about our hydrolytic reaction. Um, if this said hydrolysis, I reckon most people would have got D right, but I think the hydrolytic made it sound a bit fancy. So that's where um, I reckon we've got a few issues with this. People may have also seen hydro and just gone with water rather than thinking about what actually does this mean. And what's the link between these three guys here? These are all condensation reactions. So knowing your, your types of reactions is important. So question four. Um, question four, correct answer was B with about three quarters of the state getting the right answer there. So where is our question four gone? Where did I put it? There it is. Question four was about our chiral carbons. Um, answer was B, as we said, which is good. Um, and I think I explained that in what's going on there, mainly looking for your four different um, things coming off one of the carbons there. Um, this one, if you're in doubt here, if you don't want to do it as quick as I did, draw it out. So this guy here is going to be C to C with a C coming off it and a C and a C. This guy here is C to C to C to C with a chlorine. And you can see clearly that this goes have one, two, three, four different things coming off it, which is why B is the correct answer. Question five, up to 84% here, which is a fantastic result from the state. Um, and again, it wasn't too difficult in terms of what is a biofuel. You can see perhaps some people got tricked with the other ones, um, but really biofuel um, comes from something organic, comes from something natural. So that is why ethanol produced from cellulose is considered a biofuel. Um, so that's our first five multiple choice questions done. Um, I'll be looking at doing some of the rest of these in a second um, and uploading those as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. It's helped you a little bit, um, obviously walking through these multiple choice questions. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And of course, as you know, subscribe because you'll be updated with when we're doing other stuff.